Come on in. Check out my place. All right, let's see what we got. All right, they just finished cleaning the Airbnb, you guys. We've got a sick place, two beds, two baths right in Brickle. Let me show you around a little bit. We're here at the 10X Growth Con. Check out this view. Well, it's 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 a little cloudy today. Guys, what do you think of the uh, the Airbnb? Uh, it's pretty good so far. Oh, this is it's great, amazing. man. Spotless. Great Spotless. views. Good work, Matt. Perfect. Sean, this is Sean's first Airbnb. Welcome to uh, being a millennial, Sean. Oh, man. The Gen yeah, Xers. The Gen Xers are like, <laughs> what hotel are we staying at? All right. Beautiful. So I did a vlog last year about 10X. I was in Vegas for 10X Growth Con 2, and that vlog, it was okay. It got a couple comments, but it didn't have as much substance as I wanted to have. I want to this vlog to be a little more substantive of what I learned from each speaker, kind of like the top seven things I learned, because I really want to provide more value. And yeah, I'll show you around what we're doing while we're down here for a couple days, but I also want to talk about what I learned and then what I can implement in my own business. So we're gonna go find a nice little Mexican restaurant. I think the Mexican gets better as you go down further south. So let's go do that right now. We just got to the first place for lunch. It's like 3.30, but we're starving. Our flight was in the middle of lunch. So Mexican place, guys, last year 10X, I wanted to get a few things out of 10X and I'll tell you right now, but first guys, what do you guys wanna get out of 10X? Start with you, Sean. I need, I need some motivation, and I need some scripts. I need to know what to say. All right, what about you? I just want to copy like one of their marketing strategies and implement it, and even if it's like 10% as good as theirs, like I should probably get some type of result, I would think. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we're gonna be surrounded by just complete, total badasses in their space. I think what I'm looking to get out of it is just the energy and the people that are next to you. I mean, you don't know if they're just starting their career or if they're like a billion dollar like hedge fund owner, like you never know. So the, the people that go to these events are, I think the real value, obviously the speakers, but networking with the people around you is the biggest thing that I'm looking to do. And I'm, guys, I'm naturally an introvert. I know I have a YouTube channel and I know I'm a real estate agent, but it's a challenge for me to do this. And that's something that I'm looking to overcome and to just meet um, a bunch of new people. Cheers, bros. Cheers, fellas. 10X. 10X, baby. So I haven't drank alcohol in 30 days. Me and my brother challenged each other. We did a 30 day challenge of no alcohol for the month of January until we got to Miami. And the week, the month before, we did a 30 day challenge of 21 videos in, tw in 30 days. So Jeff, what's gonna be the 30 day challenge? We gotta, we gotta uh, think yourself, we gotta look online and try to come up with a couple of good ones because we did the video challenge, no booze challenge, so I don't know how we're gonna top it. Yeah. I think maybe like writing a book challenge, like you have to write 2,000 words yeah, or something like that. Because so far it's been like too easy. Like we both tied, and what's on the line is a custom suit. So the loser, whoever doesn't do the 30 day challenge, has to buy the other person a custom suit. So, gotta have some skin in the game for this one. All right, we got in our workout. We got in a quick breakfast. We're about to enter the 10X Growth Con number three here at Marlins Park. So let's take a look around.
All right, so we are two speakers through on day one. So Grant Cardone, just wanted to do the top couple things that I learned from each speaker. Number one, Grant, he was talking about sales. So the first thing is you have to have an audience. That's number one. Number two is sales. Uh, it's easy. We as humans, we complicate it, but it's easy. It's a contact sport. You have to have an audience. And then the reason that you're doing it is because of freedom. It's not because of money. It's not because of whatever materialistic. It's because the end goal is always freedom. And then Russell Brunson just came on, and I love Russell Brunson. And what I learned from him is you have to have a product to sell. So he was talking about click funnels, which is essentially selling a, a product online. And Someone like left the presentation who was like sitting next to me and they were like, oh, I don't have anything to sell, it's not for me. It's like, well, that's not the, the, that's not the mindset to have. It's like, if you don't have anything to sell, make something to sell and then sell it and then figure out the equation and model other people that are successful selling their online products, see what they're doing, and then do something similar to, similar to that. So two speakers in, perfect weather out here, walking around the ballpark. Those are the top tips that I learned so far. All right, day one of the 10X Growth Con just finished up. I was taking notes here on my little notepad. Guys, just wanted to hit you with what I learned from each speaker. So Jesse Itzer, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, is a part owner of the Atlanta Hawks. What I learned from him is, guys, luck doesn't happen. You need to put yourself in a position to get lucky, quote unquote. The next thing I learned from Jesse, let me just go through here real quick. Experience is overrated, guys. You can't sit around and wait for experience, just go out there and do it. And finally, it's, it's pretty basic, but the limitations that we put on ourselves are all self-imposed. Really, really enjoy Jesse Itzer's presentation, speed up the process, create urgency. And what was pretty cool is right after that, his wife came on, Sarah Blakely, the CEO of Spanx. What she had to say was pretty cool. She had a little discussion with uh, Grant Cardone's wife, Elena, and the biggest thing I took away from her talk was hire your weaknesses, number one. And then number two is, let's see, what is in it for the other person? So if you're talking to someone else, what can you say? They're only gonna, that other person doesn't really care about what you have to say. They only care about themselves. So what is in it for that person that you're talking about? Don't talk about yourself. Talk about how you can help them. So learn a lot from Sarah Blakely's presentation. Next, Ty Lopez. The man, I saw him speak last year at 10X Growth Con 2. What I learned from Ty Lopez is on your website, gotta have a video up and find a another website that has a really good video that you're basically solving someone's problem. So as soon as you go to someone's website, you should have a video up on how you can solve their problem because you are paid in the proportion to the difficulty of the problems that you're solving. So. Have a video up and model another good website that has video up. And then finally, there was Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, super funny, um, very good public speaker. There were some things where I was like, yeah, I don't know if I agree with that, but he's super passionate about what he does. He's wildly successful. He's made a ton of money. So it was definitely cool from hearing, hearing about Steve Harvey's trek through um, being a comedian, um, hosting Family Feud and all that he's done. Super impressive track record. So that about does it for day one. Long, long days here in Miami. So we're gonna go get some dinner, maybe hit a few nightlife spots, and we'll see you in the morning. Day two of the 10X Growth Con. I'm out here on the balcony of the Airbnb just finishing up a delicious granola bowl. And my brother had a nice acai berry bowl. So awesome to just start the day in Miami, 70 degrees out on the open air balcony with like a nice fresh breakfast. Last time we went out to a really nice Italian restaurant in downtown Miami. We're staying in a Brickle. We thought about staying in South Beach, but South Beach is like 20 minutes that way and it would be such a long commute. And then if we were there, we'd be staying at like an overpriced hotel and we wouldn't really take advantage of the beach weather. Maybe if we were here for like an entire week. South, I love South Beach, don't get me wrong, but we wanted to switch it up, do Brickle, because I love the high rises, I love the downtown area. So this is day two 
of the 10X Growth Con, and we are about to head over. Check out the speakers right now. Both times, security has stopped me for the camera, but the policy is under eight inches, so I'm super thankful that that is the policy and they're allowing cameras. Obviously, you can't bring like a huge telescopic lens, but super cool. I've seen a lot of videographers around, and forgetting about the festival for a second, this venue is pretty cool. It's like open air, it's nice. It's a lot bigger than the last um, conference room in Las Vegas. Some people have complained about the echo and in different parts of the stadium, it's pretty bad. Thankfully, where we are, the echo is fine and the autos, audio is coming through nice and clear. All right, so John Maxwell just finished up. We're about halfway through the day here at the 10X Growth Con. Two really big things I learned from John Maxwell. Number one, you never want to be at the top of your class. If you're at the top of your class, you're in the wrong class. And then number two, always be intentional with your actions. I know it sounds so obvious and whatnot, but you should always know what you want and know what you're going after. And guys, I'll throw in one more tip. Let me just look at my phone here. I was jotting down some notes here on the, the old note num number nine. Finally, you should always look to be out of your comfort zone. Out of your comfort zone is the biggest opportunity to grow if you're complacent, if you're waiting, if you're in your comfort zone, not a lot of growth takes place there. So learn some really cool things from John Maxwell, excellent public speaker. It was cool because he comes from the age of kind of like that Zig Ziglar. He was talking about how he listened to Earl Nightingale when he was younger. So a lot of the public speakers, they are, uh, you know, social media based and they're a little bit younger and they're awesome public speakers, don't get me wrong. But it, it was really cool to see someone of a different generation be just as good as a public speaker as these other speakers with a completely different style. And he said he wrote like 82 books or something, which is like simply incredible. It's like, it, it was very uh, motivating to hear someone that's written 82 books. I've written one book, so I'm definitely trying to write at least one more. I don't think I'll write 82, but I think two is a good start. All right, we're just finishing up day two of the conference. Ryan Dice just spoke. It's actually still daylight, as you can tell. Uh, we're sneaking out a little bit early, but don't tell anyone. Ryan Dice, very good public speaker, digital marketer. Few of very good tips I learned from him. One, basically try everything and try it extremely quickly. You know, should I do email marketing or Facebook ads? Should I be on Twitter or should I focus more on Instagram? The answer is always yes. Just try everything and test it. Test it immediately. And then the other thing is between sales marketing and service you know for a long time these were three different departments sales marketing and service but now everything is sales everything is marketing everything is service and i've struggled with this in the past being in sales and you know my customer service i think is amazing but you know the follow-up and the servicing the client after the fact not so much so ryan dice digitalmarketer.com i think that's his business try everything and finally, copywriting. Learn how to write copy. Learn how to write really good copy. Okay, lots of really good tips. Again, don't tell anyone that we left early. Cool lobby. Love this mirror, it's so big. Oh, All right, first try. All right, just finished up dinner on one of the islands. It's really good, but um, something happened during dinner. I won't talk about it. It's really good, really good scene. Uh, the food was delicious. We're here at the Miami Heat game. Check out the view is sick, right, Sean? What do you think about the view? It's amazing. Amazing. Got like foreign cars driving everywhere. My brother's about to come and get a taco. What I like about this place is you can have like 50 different types of uh, cuisine. So let's see what he got. What'd you get? What'd you get? You got some tacos? What type of tacos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was just saying about dinner, man. The, the dinner space was cool, but I mean, there's a couple things that, that weren't so cool. I, will, I won't name the place, but uh, dinner's right there. I was looking at haagen -Dazs. I might get some haagen -Dazs a little bit later. But we got some really good seats for the Miami Heat game and got a really nice view out here. Heavy 
goodbye to one of the coolest Airbnbs I've ever been in. Let me show you the view one last time, guys. Oh, yeah. Love it out here. All right. Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Think we're going to watch TV today? Yeah. I don't think so. We'll see what today has in store for us. All right, on South Beach, we're actually going to skip the last day of the Growth Con. We had an amazing time at it and learned a lot. We just, we just don't need to go three days at it. Um, but we're heading out pretty soon. Got some really delicious food and a nice little mixed berry um, smoothie appetite. So I got the style of me in high school. It's a virgin, so let me give it a shot. Oh, it's so good. Eggs, steak toast, hash browns. I'm not gonna eat the tomato. South Beach, baby. Everyone is out today in South Beach, so we were going to rent a exotic car, but we opted for the least exotic thing ever, Capital City Bike Share or bike rental. $4 for the hour, pretty good deal. We have some time to kill. And it's better than paying like $800 to drive like one mile an hour on Ocean Boulevard. So. I think we're looking for a nice green smoothie. I'm a fan of the green smoothies. I hope, I hope you realize that I love the 10X Growth Con and I'll be back next year. Just because I'm not there right now doesn't mean I don't like it. We just decided to do South Beach instead today. Oh yeah. The sun is setting on Miami and the 10X Growth Con 3. Guys, really enjoyed every single part of it. The biggest takeaway, number one, speed. Number two, like working harder than everyone else in the room. And then number three, actually executing, because an idea is a you know a dime a dozen. Everyone has ideas, but actually executing, actually doing it, is completely different. So I'm looking forward to the next 10x growth con. I will be there. I'll probably get a better seat. We just did the general admission seat, so I might try to get a little bit closer to the action. Met a lot of cool people. I met Matt McKeever, a fellow real estate YouTuber. So. Go check out his channel. I'll put a little link in the description below. He kills it. Does a lot of um, financial investments, real estate investing type of videos. So really hope you like this video. You know, if you are thinking about going to the 10X Growth Con next year, would highly recommend it. And uh, be sure to check out other videos on my channel. I did a review of last year's 10X Growth Con as well. You can check that out too. Okay. Thank you very much for thank you very much for watching. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.